cyber security candidate and ethical hacker must know security information and event management tools. Whether you are interested in cyber security, cyber defense, blue team, or an IT professional looking to enhance your organization's security posture, you've come to the right place. In this video, I will show you how to deploy Waza, the powerful open source SIM tool, step by step with the real examples. Watch till the end of the video to learn this invaluable tool which looks great in your CV. Let's dive in. Waza provides extended detection and response and SIMS protection to endpoints and cloud workloads. Waza has three components. Waza Server or Manager, Waza Indexer, and Waza Dashboard. Waza Indexer indexes and stores alerts generated by Waza Server near real time, while Waza Dashboard provides a user interface to manage and monitor deployments. Waza's three components can be installed in single node or multiple nodes. I use a single node Docker deployment in this video. First, let's connect to my Ubuntu machine and update it. sudo apt update will update my machine. Next, install docker and docker compose. You can run this command as one or like me separately. sudo apt install docker.io. When it's completed, then sudo apt install docker compose. As we have installed prerequisites, Let's clone the Waza repository. I put the link of this repository in video description. I select the current version of Waza, which is 472. After downloading the repository, enter into the single node directory. In the single node directory, you see all the files you need to install Waza. Readme file explains the steps. First, we run a certificate creation scripts with the Docker Compose. Docker Compose-F generate index certs YAML and run dash dash rm generator. There is an error, permission denied. Run the command with sudo. Now it creates all necessary certificates we need to run the Waza. Next step is creating Waza component with Docker Compose command. Docker Compose op-d. It pulls all images for Waza Manager, Waza Indexer, and Waza Dashboard and start three Docker containers. When it's done, check the container with Docker PS command. It shows all three containers are up and running. Let's go to the browser https colon slash slash copy the address of our Waza manager. As we are using self-signed certificate, the browser alerts. Click in advance and click on the link to proceed to the address. Remember, we do it for a test because we are setting up the server. You never proceed for unknown addresses. The Waza dashboard server is not ready yet. It takes few minutes. Give it two, three minutes and try again. If it takes longer, there are something wrong with your configuration. Now the login page appears. The default credential is admin and secret password. You can change the default credential in a Docker Compose file. In a dashboard, you can view and analyze security event, integrity monitoring, policy monitoring, system auditing, security configuration, threat detect and response, and regulatory compliance to track the overall security posture. However, we do not have any agents yet to monitor them. Waza uses lightweight agents that are installed on the system you want to monitor. This agent collects security-related data and sends it to central server for analysis. Waza agent can be installed on any system including Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. In Waza dashboard, click on Add Agent. In Deploy New Agent window, 
choose operating system. I choose Linux and the AMD64 architecture. Add the Vasa server node address. It's the only address of the Vasa server without HTTPS. Add the name of the agent. It's optional but good to add meaningful name to recognize it in dashboard. Select the group. You can create different groups for agents. I selected default in this video. Now you can get a command to install agent. Copy the command and paste it into the terminal of my Linux machine. If you choose the wrong architecture, you will get an error in terminal. The last step is to start the agent to send data to our Waza server. Copy the command shown in the dashboard and paste it into the terminal of the machine we want to monitor. Now you see the information of the agent in the dashboard. You can refresh the page to get all details. You can click on the agent and see all relevant information. You can add more agents with the same method. To wrap it up, Waza is a powerful free XDR and Seams tool that helps with intrusion detection, log management, compliance monitoring, anomaly detection, and file integrity monitoring. Its robust features, easy deployment, and integration capabilities make it an excellent choice for organization of all sizes. If you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting cybersecurity content. Until next time, stay secure, stay protected.